Hello there commanders and welcome, I'm Mistru and to celebrate Sun Tzu's 14th anniversary I would like to tell you the story of two largest tournaments in our history with over 100 participants each. After having pioneered Total War Arena tournament formats with Sun Tzu Invitational and Open 1, I took things to the next level just a few months later with sequels to both editions. Sun Tzu Invitational 2 evolved into a two-day celebration of the community, allowing for individual players to sign up and compete while having fun, without having to worry about assembling their own squads, as eight most experienced competitors from Sun Tzu stepped up as captains to lead every willing participant, regardless of their skill level, on a fun journey where everyone got to play and taste competitive gaming to see if it's something for them in a no-stress environment. Sun Tzu Open 2 was another milestone achievement built on the shoulders of the previous events. Fully embracing hardcore competition, it was the first clash between European and American clans, thanks to my cooperation with Creative Assembly's developers, which made it possible. Sun Tzu was on full display in all its glory, managing to organize three teams who all made it to semi-finals. Sadly, soon after having pitched Sun Tzu Invitational 3, Total War Arena's untimely and undeserved death was announced, cutting short my dreams of even more grandiose and splendorous tournaments. Sun Tzu did see a triumphant return alongside Arena's revival in China, winning and organizing even more championships under my leadership there, until it died again, hopefully not for good. Now we rise once more, as Sun Tzu League enters its second year of monthly tournaments, campaigns and fun events across the entire Total War franchise. But that's a story for a different occasion. Let us now relieve the best moments of those two tournaments from the perspective of over 10 streamers involved in them. Probing strategy of the Silver Shield is somewhat paying off, they have made it to the enemy base. Yeah man, they're pushed hard. Taking away that slinger advantage, moving up so they within range of the slinger. Yep, old school, yep, do you get a few good engagement here and there, but oh, that's a huge charge on the slingers there from Sansu and A. Ooh. I think that's, that's over now. That's yeah. The secret band is working really well with the flank. Yeah, Lord Commander Gus Calvary was just now way too debilitated. Took too much slinger for And we've got now Panzer Vitnir's elephants that are controlling the slinger blog. Literally all the Sunzu NAI who are there et qui sont sur un bras de foire qui s'est jeté dans la bataille. Do you want to talk about the pets a bit? Or yeah. have you still um, got more stuff to sort out? No, I'm pretty much ready. I mean, I'm constantly being messaged by either team captains or other streamers about things. That's just... is going to happen. Yeah. There's no way around yes. it. Because of the javelin pressure and elephants are going to be on top of him as well. We've hyped up that elephant duel, but Jacob is on the opposite side of the map, making his way right now over there. Uh, followed by cavalry, Ooh. maybe looking to it delay. Looks him. like we're gonna get a cavalry Ooh. charge into Auckland on. Oh, beautiful that's charge! And Gunslinger damage. is already on top of him. Sun Tzu and A win the HP advantage he's now. He's gonna lose that cavalry unit, but he has Doesn't done matter, more, yeah. than, yeah. more than what was required. Of him. already Bring across the river, um, setting up his elephants on the right side, waiting for his team to collapse to launch a coordinated attack. And there's those archers are pushing in from uh, Gladiator's uh, right flank with javelins and archers. That's a scary push. They better be ready for that. Yeah, those archers have a huge man advantage on that flank, so they should push that and wait on the other side. But I see Spanat is already coming in. Harun well, didn't secure the passage for a lot of funds, but now Mongus is approaching with his javelin and they actually caught Linux just off guard. Oh, yeah, that's actually silence in play. And that so is really nice. God is now charging the through. elephants can go in, they have nothing to really stop them. Satras, if they can get... Oh, crippled shot by Jacker last second. Really oh, nicely played, stopped. good awareness there by Jacker. So now the Chavlins and the Spearmen of um, Sacred Band are basically surrounded by the enemy. Now, yeah, that's an uncoordinated the retreat. They're sacrificing yes. those two players in order to pull back, and I think that's a too big of a sacrifice at this point. Especially the, because the players that are sacrificing is uh, two spearmen and their chaplains. We fired there as well. Yeah, and he's coming quite fast, managing to find himself that sweet spot you've been talking about. On top of that, free bird is now climbing there, but there are pikes there to but stop The pikes him. are gonna stop him. Wow, this is so well thought out. He's barely managing to make it. Let's hope that Asa warrior can stop him. Yeah. Fight! 
Clap is getting very close. There's not Elephant won't be able to decap those uh, archers in time. They won't be able to decap well. every single one of these archers. And there's crippling shots slowing him down. Oh, the cap will go oh, through. Oh, the cap is gonna go. The and that's the smart that's strategy we've been GG. talking about. Wow.